first thing here is our windmill compute node. And so, um, you know, this is actually just an adaptation of the uh, compute node we're using today. It's really a mechanical electrical adaptation into OpenRack. And so what we're looking at here is the 12 volt bus bar interconnect, which is how it picks up power from the back of the rack. Um, so there's no power supply in this server. It's an important point, and the voltage is not converted or transformed or regulated between the bus bar and the motherboard. And so the power is coming in from the bus bar clip through a simple power connection board that runs the fans, um, and then into the power connection of the motherboard. And this is the same motherboard we used in our windmill design that we're deploying today, and what you can find you know, on the Open Compute website as well. Um, and so this is the same power supply connector used in that design, et cetera, uh, hence the interposer board. Um, and so then what we did is we designed a slightly taller chassis for better efficiency of airflow. And um, our old design was a 1.5U tall. We went to a 2U design to allow us to get to the 80 millimeter fans, which are slightly more efficient than the 60 millimeter fans in our prior design. And so with two 80 millimeter fans, these run at very low speed. It's a nice open enclosure for the airflow, very low impedance. Um, and so the, the fan power on this is estimated in the six watt range to cool a two socket compute node, which is, you know, we believe really um, uh, an amazingly efficient design. We're really excited about that kind of efficiency. Um, just as we scale out, we, you know, we like to make the most out of every watt. So, um, and then in the front of the design, what you can see here is that we've moved the hard drive onto the tray. Our prior design had the hard drive off tray. And so the tray is a self-contained computer, right? There are no external devices that are part of this. Um, and so the tray itself can be swapped as a unit or moved to a new location, what have you, with no external connections except for one network cable in the front and, of course, the power in the back. And then so by moving the drive on the tray, we actually don't use a drive backplane because it adds cost and complexity, and it's a single drive machine, so you'd only ever cold swap it, so you don't need the hot swap features. And so you can simply remove the power and data cables and then pull the drive out of the front of the machine, and it's a simple tool-free swap. Um, and so that allows a technician to replace a failed hard drive in, you know, a few seconds. In fact, they don't even need to remove the tray from the rack because it's all front accessible. So they can do the hard drive swap while the tray or while the server is in position. Um, and then we have a small uh, 10 gigabit uh, mezzanine card here. Um, so as we as we move to uh, 10 gigabit data center designs, we wanted the option since 10 gigabit is sort of early in the maturity you know maturity of the technology. We move the network interface card to a mezzanine. That allows us to upgrade the network interface technology a little faster early in the life cycle of the design. Um, whereas one gigabit, which is much more mature, is of course down on the motherboard in most designs. Other than that, really, we combine the lid with the air guide, and so you can see that the, uh, the lid itself has the airflow features built into it, and so there's no separate plastic air guide like you see in a lot of server designs to make sure the air hits the right parts. The lid itself is guiding the air over the processor and memory, which are high heat loads in the design. Um, that's about it. We've got a couple spots for uh, PCI cards in the front because this is not only our compute node, but it's also our head node for our storage configurations uh, that we do with Knox. And so uh, we can install I.O. cards or, or, you know, sort of other device cards as required here. Um, the taller height got us to the ability of, of a two PCI card plus three and a half inch boot drive capability. Um, so a little more flexibility than our prior design as well as far as uh, different things we can do.